Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. It is officially happening. Fall is starting to slowly dwindle into our local stores and I am 100% here for it. Let me tell you, I am so over summer. I was over summer before summer even began, okay? I was over summer like in spring. So I'm really excited to share some new fall candles that I picked up from Bath & Body Works. I did take advantage of their buy two get two candle sale that they had a couple of weeks ago. I placed a pretty large online order. So I'm actually gonna be splitting this haul up between two parts. So in part one today, I'm gonna get into all of the single wick candles I picked up. And then in part two, I'll get into all of the three wick fall candles I purchased. So before we jump into the single wicks, I want to quickly share my most recent in-store purchase from Bath & Body Works and it is this skull candle holder. It's got a gold base and then you can see all those different size skulls around there. Um, it did retail for $15.95 but I actually used my rewards points for this guy. I picked up one for myself as well as my cousin because she's really into Halloween so I immediately texted a picture of it to her. They had just put it out on the floor so I was really lucky to scoop it up right away but I texted a picture of it to her and I was like do you like this because I feel like you would like this and she said 100% yes get me one now I do wish that this did glow in the dark like the ghost one when I initially bought it I thought that it did and I was so excited I got it home I turned off the lights and nada nothing it does not glow in the dark which is unfortunate I feel like that would make it so much cooler but I do really like it nonetheless. And I think it especially looks cool if you put a dark colored candle in here. Like I tested it in store with mahogany teakwood inside and the contrast was really cool. Unfortunately, it was mahogany teakwood, which I cannot get into that fragrance. So I immediately put that back, but I'm hoping there's gonna be some other like deeper colored candles throughout fall that I can pop in here during October because the contrast does look really like spooky and yeah. I'm really into it. So getting into the single wicks, um, the first one I picked up was an online exclusive and it is bourbon maple. It comes in this beautiful, deep, spicy orange wax. I absolutely love the color of it. And the notes for bourbon maple are barrel aged bourbon, sugared amber, and maple wood. Now I was a little bit hesitant at first um, when seeing the notes because the last bourbon fragrance I tried from Bath & Body Works was Bowties and Bourbon, which was a little bit musky. To me, it kind of just smelled like a sweaty man at the end of the day, like after his work shift, it had a very strong muskiness to it. So I wasn't sure what to expect with this, but mm, it smells so good. To me, this has much more of an authentic whiskey scent to it. it really has that depth. It has a good amount of smokiness in here too, which isn't listed anywhere in the notes, but maybe that's the whole like barrel aged component, but uh, it smells like a deep whiskey drink with a little hint of maple syrup in there. Like I said, it has that really warm, smoky, I wanna say flavor, even though I can't taste it, obviously. The scent is so invigorating that it is a scent I can actually kind of taste in my mouth. Like it really smells like you're sipping on a warm fall whiskey drink and just like, you know, that little warm feeling you get when you take a sip of whiskey and it just gives me all those feels. And yeah, I really, really like this one. I'm hoping it's going to stay true to the scent as it burns, because if it does, I will 100% pick up another one of those. If you are into whiskey fragrances, you definitely want to check that out. The next scent I picked up was Pumpkin Bonfire. Now this is a fragrance I typically would stay far away from because I'm not much into the like fiery type of scents, but because it's a single wick, I figured why not? Let me go ahead and pick it up. And that's the fun with trying single wicks, right? Is that it's not as much as much of a time commitment as a three wick candle. So if you're not as crazy into it, it doesn't take that long to finish it up, but it comes in this kind of like gloomy, stormy, colored gray wax. And the notes for pumpkin bonfire are white pumpkin clove buds and glowing embers. I barely get any clove in this, but I do get the fiery bonfire scent. I get a good hit of the pumpkin too. I feel like it's equal parts pumpkin and like a, that fiery warm bonfire type of fragrance. It's not like a super overly sweet pumpkin too. It's a little bit subdued. So yeah, I actually like this one a lot more than expected. I love the idea of burning this at nighttime while watching a movie. We can have this going and it'll feel like we have a little fireplace in here, even though we don't, we can just pretend we do um, with this guy. So there's that. The next one I picked up was Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. I get this one 
every single year. I also get it in the matching soap as well. This is the first year though that I didn't get it in a three wick, mainly because there are so many other pumpkin fragrances and just fall fragrances in general that I'm excited about. So I just got the single wick this time around. And Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin is Warm Cinnamon, Fresh Ground Clove, Vanilla Cream, and Brown Sugar. I just love the creaminess and hint of spice. Like cinnamon spicy scents are my type of scents around like fall and the holiday season. So I just love this one. It's a staple and I just feel like everybody needs sweet cinnamon pumpkin. The next one probably is one of my favorite releases for fall, which came to as a surprise to me. It's Harvest Pomegranate. Now, when they first released this, I was like, oh my gosh, here they go with trying to like sell some random fruity scent and just throw the word harvest on there to get us to buy it. But I was very pleasantly surprised by this. Um, the notes of it are rich pomegranate, freshly picked apple and sweet black plum. And it smells so good. It really is a beautiful pomegranate fall scent. It's one of those scents where I think you really do have to smell it in order to get the full experience of it, but I get that rich pomegranate. It's not a sweet scent. You have a little bit of the sweetness from the plum in there. And then you do get that kind of fresh, crisp apple. It's not a sweet apple. It's just like a fresh bite of an apple mixed with pomegranate. I love scents like pomegranate or cranberry that tend to have a little bit of bitterness in there. I just prefer those over like sweet, um, fruity flavors or scents. So this one is just right up my alley. I actually do think I'm probably gonna get the three wick version of it as well. I'm gonna burn this and see how the scent develops. And if I love it as much as I do smelling it on cold, I will definitely pick up the three wick of it. Next, I have Autumn Woods, and the notes for Autumn Woods are dark walnut, English lavender, white amber with natural essential oils. <laughs> this one, this, this is my jam right here. Autumn Woods is where it's at. This is such a warm, comforting fragrance. It's one of those scents that just immediately pulls me in and captures me. Like, you know when you find that scent that is your scent, that is what Autumn Woods is for me. It does have that dark walnut, it's warm, it has that little bit of lavender in there which is really relaxing, but it's not like an aromatherapy lavender. It doesn't scream lavender. It just has a little hint of it in there. That little bit of amber is really nice too. It's a very deep kind of romantic, woodsy, rustic scent, which I love so, so much. So I'm very, excited about burning autumn woods. The next fragrance is Fresh Fall Morning. And the notes for Fresh Fall Morning are Citrus Zest, Woodland Sage, and Red Delicious Apple. So this is actually a fragrance that I'm probably gonna be burning um, pretty soon here because I do think it's a really good transitional scent between summer and fall. Yeah, it's not anything that screams fall, to be honest. I mostly get a citrusy scent from this. I do get that sage in there that adds a little bit of like a depth and woodsy feeling to it. Just a little bit of the apple, but mostly for this, I get that citrus zest. So a little bit of a woodsy hint in there, but not anything that kind of screams fall. So I feel like this will be perfect um, to burn towards the end of summer. Next, I picked up the Hello Gorgeous Pumpkin Spice Latte Single Wick Candle. Super cute. I actually really like the way this one looks more in person than I did online. Online, I just thought it looked so cheesy. I mean, come on, it is a little bit cheesy. Um, but in person, I really like the label on there. If you can see the little pumpkins, almost kind of look like patchwork. So it just looks very cozy and really sweet. And the notes for pumpkin spice latte are pumpkin pie spice, freshly brewed espresso, homemade whipped cream with a sprinkling of cinnamon sugar. Now coffee fragrances are another type of scent that I don't gravitate towards too frequently. I feel like they tend to smell really strong. Plus I used to work at Starbucks back in the day. So I don't know, it's weird for me to bring that scent home because I used to work around it all of the time. But this is my first year actually trying this scent out and it does smell really, really good. I love that this captures the full experience of a pumpkin spice latte. You have the creamy, like that kind of um, thick syrupy pumpkin spice syrup in there. You have the creaminess from the milk, the hit of espresso, even that kind of fresh whipped topping. 
I feel like you get all of this. It just smells like a sip, like a fresh sip of pumpkin spice latte. That's exactly what this smells like. And yeah, slightly on the sweeter side. Glad that I didn't pick it up in three wick. I think it would be way too um, overpowering for me, but I think in single wick form, I'm really gonna like it. Okay guys, we have the final single wick candle, which is pumpkin vanilla creme. And the notes for this are creamy pumpkin, vanilla creme, and fresh ground nutmeg. To me, this just smells like, you know when you would crush graham crackers like in a Ziploc bag to make for crust for like cheesecake? This smells like as if you just freshly crushed up a bunch of graham crackers and you were to stick your head in that bag because that's mainly what I get from this is a fresh graham cracker scent. I get a little bit of the pumpkin, a lot of the vanilla. Um, it's honestly a little bit more on the sweet side than what I particularly gravitate towards. But nonetheless, I do think it's a really fun, sweet, um, pumpkin-y scent. I cannot wait to burn this in the kitchen like while baking in the morning. I feel like it will be really nice in there around fall. So there is that guy. So that is it for part one of this haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give the video a like. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. I am going to be having part two coming up on Thursday. So stay tuned for that. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.